Uh, I know you won't. I should have taken the drink away. I definitely should have taken the drink away. Oh, damn. Tommen's coronation feast. <laughs> you shouldn't say that. <laughs> Ooh. Why not? Hello. Mira, I'll meet you inside. Met yourself a pretty what husband. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. Maybe you can. I'm sorry. Look. I want to help you, but I can't risk it. I'll take the blame. You can tell Marjorie I snuck in and you tried to stop me. She's already thinking about replacing you. Are you sure you want to risk it? I have to. This is a matter of all or nothing. <sighs> all right. If we don't do it, we're doomed. If we do do it, we're this. also doomed. It's win or lose. She's with me. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Ooh, okay, let's see. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't yeah. partake yourself. We don't drink. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. I Talk never... to the wrong people Oh, and... Lord Tarwick! That's one of the wrong persons. <laughs> what was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. There they are. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. Little <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? My apologies. I just noticed Lords Andros and Morgren over there. What a shame. Ruining a perfectly good afternoon with that nonsense. Perhaps someone should encourage them to argue elsewhere. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! They're not Andrew, happy. You're being ridiculous. So, who is helping Lord Whitehill? Morgan wanted part of the wood. He could help us. I'm not sure. Ah, Andros, Andros. I don't want to trust him fully, but uh, I kind of want to do now. Just gonna sit on the bench and listen. It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. 
That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? That is pretty important. And through you, I can also I learn something else. Um, do we? Was that once Sarah stole? Uh, I'm not sure. Eh! Not eavesdropping on those two. Talking to Morgrin. I'm not talking to Andros. Talking to Morgrin. Although. A little bit of eavesdropping would have hurt. Tiny bits. Why would you ever stop dealing ironwood? Hmm. Is there no longer a demand? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. Oh, I'm really not sure. What do the people have to say? Maybe the people around here can help me out. Right here in the garden. Well, wasn't he Lannister, one of their guard? But still, well, surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. I could mingle, eat a little bit of food, tiny bit. We won't be a big, uh, I know. We won't draw too much attention to ourselves if we mingle in with everything. I'm gonna talk to him. He said he doesn't want to do with uh, Ironwood anymore, but I don't fully believe that. <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. Why would I be locked in a I cell? this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. Wouldn't you like to know? All right. You can keep your secrets. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. A tiny bit, so, maybe. what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. Don't tell me you just enjoy my company. I've heard you stopped selling ironwood. Not on my account, I hope. How did you? So it's true. It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. By oh. someone else. All thanks to my partner. The bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. I knew it! No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. In that, that man case. Would be nothing without me. We have a common enemy. How quickly people forget where they started. It appears we have an enemy in common, Lord Morgren. I hadn't thought of it that way. Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and his new partner. If you will Lyman join me. Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. Hmm. Okay, so. Ooh. Find out what they are planning. Maybe Sir Tarwick knows something. Maybe, just maybe. Sarah? Lord Tarwick? Well met, Lady Mira. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Have you had any luck? 
Luck? With what? I saw you talking to Lord Morgan over there. This place is full of eligible men. I assumed you were on the lookout for a husband. That isn't really what Mira is interested in. Nonsense. You must have your eye on someone. Oh, don't press her, Garibald. I'm only curious. No harm in that. You can tell me. I can keep a secret, can't I, Sarah? What do you know about Lord Andros? Maybe Look like this. It will Mira. work. That man is married to his gold. And from what I hear, he never did enjoy the company of women. Okay. Hmm. I should be going. Stay out of trouble, Mira. You know who you're asking, right? I want to ask more to him. Hello again, Lady Mira. Goodness, Mira. I didn't expect to see you back so soon. I haven't left. Please excuse me. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not. Oh dear. What is he talking about this time around? Still the same stuff? I don't like Lannister too. Uh, I thought we were done talking about this. You asked me about my friends. Uh, friends, yes. Lyman is your business partner. What's the difference? Uh, fair enough, Andros. And if my friends happen to protect me from the crown, all the better. <laughs> I think I need more wine. Whoa, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm bad at this in polit politics stuff. Uh, Lyman, what do you know? Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? <laughs> oh, Shit. don't be afraid. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. You seem nervous, my lord. I'm not nervous. No, not at all. I just get clumsy sometimes. Sometimes? Um, you sure you're not nervous? I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? No, not at all. You look like you could use some company. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. What was the business about? Oh? What kind of business? Maybe I can I, make you a better offer. I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. Ooh, I, we have some charms. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? We're just talking. What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Yes. Forrester. I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! I'm not meddling in your affairs. I'm just talking to a random guest. It's Marjorie. Run, 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 as quickly as possible. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Don't let that guard look at you. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Don't. Okay. Lady Marjorie. Keep walking, keep walking. <gasps> Sarah, you're awesome. Jump over the edge, climb on top of the wall, jump over the edge into the ocean and make your run. Or something like that. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm I... fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. Why... What do you mean? Worried about Lyman? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. Alright? Don't tease me, Lord Darwin. I'll keep your secret safe. I suppose I could tell you. Ooh, we have quite if some charm. If you first tell me something about Sarah. 
Your sure. help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right. I know nothing. I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I really couldn't I say need it. to know her family, her parentage. That is unfortunately the way things are. I really couldn't say, my lord. Spare me the pretense. You know her as well as anybody. Now tell me the truth. Mm. Please, Lady Mira. He will know I'm lying. Oh, I'm... Ah, I don't like this choice. For my own family, I'm gonna have to do this. I have to say it. He knows the family died of 200 years ago. There won't be some random heir. She will be a bastard. He knows. I'm very sorry, Sarah. You're gonna hate me. She asked me not to tell anyone. But Sarah is a bastard. Are you certain? She was born Sarah Flowers. The Tyrells renamed her. How oh, incredibly disappointing. She seems so refined. I was certain she was born a lady. She's still a lovely person, though. And if you really like her... She's a liar, Mira. And she's low-born. I'm afraid my admiration ends here. I'm very sorry, Sarah. Thank you for being honest with me. I'm very sorry, but you would have found do. out. And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. What about... Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse Needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Okay. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He that spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes? Yes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. He'd be horrified if everyone knew. Then why did you tell me? Because of... Well, maybe I shouldn't have. I'm gonna have to use I'd that information. I'd hate Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You'll never find out. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. <laughs> Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to undo. Please don't... Uh, Lady Mira? Just keep it low profile. Don't blame me or anything that would let you hear it from me. Ah. Uh, okay, so... Lyman uh, has been drinking milk of the poppy, which is a brew that basically subdues you for operations and stuff during these times. He's been addicted to it, which is why he's constantly shaking with his cup, which we saw. And if we could bring him into discredit with our friend Andros, then he, he wants a lot of money. I can sell the ironwood to him. Maybe? Yeah, I'm not sure. Or I could bring him in discredit so he will not be able to buy the, the ironwood from Lord Whitehill. Or I could talk to Morgrin and work this out with Morgrin. Everyone is talking about you, Lady Mira. Lord Andros is rather loud. The look on his face. Whatever you did to make him so angry, I applaud you for it. <laughs> I have to be going. Wait, wait, don't go yet. I have some... Uh. Hmm. 
She's gonna notice us. She's definitely going to notice us. Uh... I'm talking to Lyman. Making Andros even angrier than he already is. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just... just leave. Just be quiet, Lyman. We have power over him. Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets. So why not spill his? <laughs> it's very angry or very Andros mean. Is cell swords, hundreds of them. Oh dear. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Oh crap! But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows, except or you. At least he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but well. Now you know, too. That army will destroy my family. That was his hope, I'm sure, but I... Oh. Ooh. Bloody traitor. You promised me. Then you told everyone? Oops, 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 oops. What are you oops. talking about? Run. You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. Mira, she run. Told me everything. Mira, run. Run, run! We're not here, we're not here! <laughs> oh dear. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. No, you were the one who made the grave, grave error. Indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't tell me you're afraid of a handmaiden. <laughs> We're more powerful than you think. For a mere handmaiden, we're playing the Game of Thrones. I call this one, now you can die! Um... Right, we'll go have some fun and watch your step. Yes, I like my feet very much. No, you... did you really have to add death lasers? Really? Oh, come now! I simply added a few solar death beams. A few? 